From next week, patients at the Accra Psychiatric Hospital will be charged 550 CDs for services rendered at the mental health facility. According to the chief psychiatrist, Dr. Kwesio say, government's inability to release funds is the cause of this directive. He makes this know here on Wednesday, and here's a playback. Come back. Problem of lack of cars, uh, not having enough money. But I'm quickly say that it is precisely because of this that now we have the new mental health act, which is supposed to give that penalty. The only thing is the fact that it takes a little while for the law to fully mature and for us to see the fruits of the law. And the law establishes a mental health fund. And if the fund is fully functional and operational, mm. then this issue will no longer arise. But the, that fund will be operational when we have the airline legislative instrument which tells parliament how to get money into the fund. We are, all, we are giving promises every now and then. So now we are only hoping that any moment from now money will be released. That is what we are hoping. But until then, if it's not released, then we have to put in some measures. And one such measure among possibilities is the fact that you have to upload the cost of care mm. to the patient and they may need to pay. Now let's get into a conversation around this. Peter Bedimak Yaro is Executive Director for Basic Needs Ghana. Uh, thank you very much, Peter, for your time here. Well, we lost Peter there, but we want to find out from Basic Needs Ghana what they make of this directive. Now, what happens when uh, the hospital or the mental health facility decides to start charging for uh, services rendered at the facility? Mind you, most of the people who go there are unable to pay the full cost of uh, health healthcare delivery, hence the, the very little they are asked to pay from there. But uh, we understand that from next week, because of government's inability to release those funds, they cannot render those free services to the mental health patients anymore, which means that they'd have to pay about 550 CDs for the service to be rendered. And I've been joined over the telephone by Basic Needs Ghana Executive Director Peter Bedimak Yara. Peter, thanks for your time here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Peter, what do you make of this uh, intention by the uh, authorities of the Accra Psychiatric Hospital to push on the cost of service delivery of up to 550 CDs to the, the patient? Because then uh, government has not released funds for the, f the smooth running of, of the facility. Yeah, uh, that's very unfortunate because uh, people who are under treatment and who are benefited from treatment uh, free of charge for all this while have uh, not been prepared to cost that amount of money to pay for the services they get. So this is going to be a burden to service users and their families. But it has also uh, far-reaching implications that we need to begin to re-look at. Uh, the whole issue of uh, free treatment services have proved not to work mm -hmm. because anything free has always come with problems, uh, with inadequate services of what is called a free package. So uh, from our point of view, it's important for mental health services to be included in the National Health Insurance Scheme so that people pay premiums and take up services just as all other general health services. And uh, I think we should, we have reached a point where we should stop pretending that services are free and are actually delivered of good quality, accessible to all. That's yeah. one. Uh, the second point is that a crisis psychiatric hospital uh, is now overstretched mm -hmm. because almost a large number of people with mental health service needs only know of the psychiatric hospitals. That means they are now taking on more than their capacity 
originally was meant for. And the efforts to get mental health decentralized should be what should be pursued. Uh, one basic need and uh, other organizations in mental health have tried to do, promoting community-based mental health care services, mm -hmm. integrated into general health care services as uh, the health system provides, so that we turn attention away from concentration on the psychiatric hospital, because a large percentage of the budget for mental health goes to the psychiatric hospital, and that does not allow for the development of community mental health services. Uh, what are from the perspective and experience of basic needs over the years. And there is now need to shift away from these institutions to make mental health services more available, more accessible within proximity of people, such that even admissions for some cases that should not be admitted will be eliminated. And it will reduce the number of people that must be in the psychiatric uh, hospital. What for, That's Peter? Let, let's talk about this community health, uh, health, uh, mental health uh, care delivery. What, mm -hmm. what form are you envisaging it would take so that uh, we do not fall back into the situation where increasingly people resorted to prayer camps, resorted to uh, herbalists for me mental health treatment solely. Yeah, and that was the, 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 the third point I wanted to advance, that we need to build a large force of middle to lower level mental health uh, cadre of staff, I mean, of, of healthcare professionals, who can provide the first line, front line services, and in serious situations, specialists come in. Uh, the rate at which we train mental health professionals is far too low to even be able to uh, bring about the community mental health services that were, has proven to be the way forward. And Basic Needs has been doing this by trying to get psychiatrists from these psychiatric hospitals to go into the hinterland. Now, if a middle to lower level core of staff can be trained, just as it's been done at the Kinsampo uh, facility. But we need to do double efforts to ensure that there's a widespread number of healthcare service providers who provide that frontline service uh, to people and where special services are needed, the appropriate referrals are done. We cannot eliminate uh, institutions, psychiatric hospitals entirely, but they can take on the acute or those that need special services Shop stay for a few months, and then the persons will continue their services in, in their families. So it should take the form of uh, uh, all kinds of the healthcare system that we have, from district hospital to sub district hospital to chief compound. The community psychiatry, I mean, the community health nurse knows a bit about mental health. The midwife knows a bit about mental health. The, the medical assistant know something about mental health rather than just pushing it to the psychiatric hospital. Uh, it is known that uh, an average general physician should be able to provide some basic diagnosis for mental health care services. Now mm. it's not the case. All the GPs just once they see and uh, the signs seem to be mental health, they push to the psychiatric hospital. But that's not good as enough. a stance, as a stance, we have a situation on our hands, we need to handle. The Ministry of Health since last year has said that it has not received monies from the Finance Ministry to be able to uh, deliver or, on, on, its, uh, or, on its responsibilities to, towards the uh, Accra Psychiatric Hospital. Uh, how do we deal with this in the meantime, besides pushing on the cost to uh, the, the patient? Yeah, um, that was the f first point I was saying. It, it's not like we didn't know this was going to happen. And each time, it has had to take agitation, threats of release of uh, the patients on admission, or threats of workers laying down tools for government to respond. Uh, these reactionary responses don't help. So for us as a stopgap, we are calling on government to immediately find resources to plug that hole whilst we really give serious attention 
to developing mental health services that is really integrated across all our health service structures. But for a top gap, that is a crisis in our hands. Mm. Uh, so just as any crisis, the government should dig deep and find some resources that would at least sustain uh, these in, uh, I mean, uh, patients on admission uh, for the period that um, other measures will now be taken to streamline the situation. The well. solutions are very there, uh, yeah. are, are much there. We have to start to work. And I would say, uh, once again, just as government responds to crisis, uh, such as in the situation of school, boarding school, feeding grants and the rest, they should rally around and give the same attention to the psychiatric hospital okay. because a lot of these psychiatrists, the psychiatric nurses and all general staff really get frustrated because they don't have the working tools. And some of these are the medicines, the food and the rest. And you can imagine working under such conditions. And not to talk about the service users themselves and their families. We are likely to get relapse rates going up, uh, people not responding to treatment, and and it tends to feed into perspectives of people that look mental illness cannot be treated and so go to prayer camp. So that is how uh, uh, snowballing it can be if we fail to respond. Executive Director for Basic Needs Ghana. Uh, we can now go back to Santa Maria where Latif Idris is engaging more residents on the road that is now a death trap. Uh, still on the Prempe Street here and I mean this bridge is almost a death trap here and we are still having some more people to react to the situation you are welcome to join you sir yeah thank you very much uh you this give us your name sir i am joseph tete Agbojan. okay uh i live on prem press street from jalov street a, a road leading straight from jalov to awoshi we are having the problem on a bridge that is First bridge, second bridge, and then the third bridge. Unfortunately, the first bridge is a disaster. If we have any major rain, there will be no passage. And this will hinder even people who live around from even coming and going out of the place. Okay. Uh, we hope and we believe with some surveillance from the government this thing can be put through somebody was asked to come and make the road i don't think he was so competent he left the bridge and now the bridge has turned to a one foot path that only one car passes you can't have two car passes on the road okay. and um, so far we are here this morning we had a rain yesterday the rain is even washing part of the bridge away. And we are even afraid. Cars passing normally as, is it safe to pass? Then we say, go to the left, go to the left, and then they go. So we are asking the government to come to our aid. This is all what we are pleading. Okay. Yeah, thank and you so much. You're welcome. Uh, big daddy here will also tell us his experience he's actually been complaining bitterly about the situation he has lost his his business on this i mean flood once and he's going to tell us exactly what happened that fateful year you're welcome to join us yeah thank you your, your name sir my name is ado so your experience on this bridge uh bridge because for the past two three four years you now Bridgeway and Cockney. Some more motion pictures, picture never honor. Only car back, pet never for quan also. And then they hire and can send sooner. Your money could school no wahano because I had no share schools waha, none could answer waha. Send suit to a via, never just a baby. I will be a cell rushing now by the show over and just a super fauba. Two years in the insurance town and I don't know a year in a funny party. Quite, I'm say. Obi anymore area. Eya humete. 
ya 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 kansa e onto me nyema e enya this bridge in kwa o hwe the area ha this bridge and a second bridge in onso no the second area no so the whole area ni nyina uh, the same okay Thank you very much, Dad. So what our father here just said is that he has also had a bad experience on this bridge. And two years ago, when this place got flooded, two, I mean, people, casualties were recorded. Two people actually died as a result of the flood. And his appeal is that government should come to their aid and fix the bridge for them. So from the Premper Street here at Santa Maria, this has been Latif Idris reporting for Joy News. Well, that's it for the year. Uh, thank you very much for your company. I'll see you pretty shortly on news today. Thanks for watching.